Starman Farms near Moree, host of the Drip Irrigation Workshop, has just begun installing a subsurface drip system on their pecan farm. It's a large project that has potential for substantial water savings. Irrigation manager at Starman Farms is David Rebel. I think probably the main two advantages are that it, it, it will be better for the trees. Um, we've found that the trees, with the flood irrigation, um, the trees at the end of the cycle will sometimes, if unless you start at exactly the right time, the trees at the end of the cycle would get too dry, so they'd start to, to stress their production wouldn't be as good. Whereas, and, and once you've flood irrigated it, it often takes a day or two for the water air balance to get back to the right level for the trees to start making use of that water. We found with the drip by just applying a small amount each day that, that the trees actually enjoy that. It, they're, they're never as wet and they're never as dry as they are with flood irrigation. Um, so we've actually seen an increase in, in our yields in, in the fields that have had the um, drip, ir, drip irrigation. And... What do you use efficiency in and yeah the efficiency of it we um that that was the main focus of this conversion was to increase our efficiency um, we've targeted our most inefficient areas of the farm farm um, soils that have like a higher sand content um, yes. that are more prone to through through drainage um, so by targeting them with the drip we'll we'll make better use of our assets yeah. um, I suppose it's a bit early to talk about the water savings yet but uh, you, you'd have a bit of an idea of what you're aiming at wouldn't you yeah we we're basically looking to halve our water use um, sort of in the, the few smaller areas that we've done we, we've used literally half the water as opposed to when they were flood irrigated mm. um, so yeah that there, there are some big savings to be made what about other things like um, applying fertiliser and so on? Is there yeah, benefits there? There are, and it, it's more targeted. Um, you, you've got more chance of getting the same amount of fertiliser and water to each tree, whereas with flood irrigation, quite often the tree that's closest to where the water's coming from will get the most water and the most nutrient. Um, so, yeah, it's more targeted. Each tree gets its a, a similar amount. Um, and there's lots of different liquid fertilisers and special brews that you can inject into this type of system. You're attending a uh, subsurface strip irrigation course here at Moree today, actually on Stamen Farms. But how's it going so far? Have you have you been able to learn a bit from it? It's yeah, it's good actually. It's it's quite an interesting course and. I mean, some of it is going over stuff that I've already dealt with, but for someone who is new to drip irrigation, um, I, I think it'll be a good overview for them. Um, and, yeah, there's still stuff that I'm picking up and, thinking, yeah, I, I hadn't really thought of it. Like, a different perspective, I suppose. Yeah, no, it's, it's good.